David, the lawyer for Senator Ensign says the senator's parents gave $96,000 to his mistress and her family in April of 2008 after Senator Ensign told his parents of the affair. Now, the lawyer says the money was given as gifts under tax laws, governing, governing gifts, to help the family through a difficult time. Ensign acknowledged the affair last month, saying it continued until August of 2008, which would make this an interesting timeline since the family allegedly gave this money April of 2008. Absolutely. In the meantime, the husband of the woman Senator Ensign had an affair with has been speaking out now for the first time. Doug Hampton was Senator Ensign's chief of staff. His wife, Cindy, was treasurer of Ensign's political action committee and re-election campaign. He says the Nevada Republican continued to pursue his wife even after intermediaries tried to get him to stop. He says those intermediaries included Oklahoma Senator Tom Coburn and members of a Christian fellowship organization. Hampton spoke exclusively to the Las Vegas Sun columnist John Ralston for the cable television program he hosts Face to Face. Cindy really wanted to pursue the right thing. And John, quite honestly, and you'll see through all of this, you'll see through this discovery, that John, given the opportunity, chose John, chose what was best for John, and kind of ramrodded and ran through people, including those very close to him, when he was confronted with this. He wanted a relationship with Cindy. Joining us now by phone is the man who did that interview, Las Vegas Sun columnist John Ralston. And, and John, just so we're clear, the allegation here is that Senator Coburn essentially stepped in and was pressuring the family, pressuring the mistress and the mistress's husband to essentially allow Ensign to apologize? No, I don't think that's exactly what happened. There was a meeting Doug Hampton describes in which others have confirmed, and even to some extent Senator Coburn has confirmed in this house where uh, the, the so-called Christian Fellowship House where Ensign and Coburn uh, and several others uh, were confirmed by Doug Hampton uh, in this house. And Senator Coburn, according to what Hampton says, was part of a group that told Ensign, you need to make this right, you need to make restitution to this man and his family, you need to help them restart their lives, and you need to write this letter, which uh, we have now obtained, that uh, Ensign's mistress at that time, but then continued the, the affair uh, anyhow. That is what Doug Hampton says. Much of that has been corroborated, although Tom Coburn, the senator from Oklahoma, has now flip-flopped, essentially, from what he said yesterday, and frankly, quite ludicrously, has now invoked the patient confidentiality because he's a doctor not to talk about it. Uh, John, what can you tell us about the investigation? A lot of money here. I mean, $96,000 from Ensign's parents. Uh, the the uh, woman allegedly got a $25,000 severance here. Where does the investigation make sure this money was appropriately uh, given out? Well, there are legal questions, there are political questions, and I suppose there are moral questions. Doug Hampton said on the program in a segment that is now posted on the Internet and will air tonight that his wife was paid well over $25,000. He would not give a specific number. It now seems that John Ensign is trying to get in front of that disclosure, knowing that Hampton can prove something by now putting out a statement through his lawyer that his father paid $96,000 to the family. Now, you have to understand the timeline here. This is at the same time that, John, that Doug Hampton and Cindy Hampton were severed from their jobs in Washington. And, and it is being couched in a gift to the family so that he will not be then liable legally for having paid too much in severance that he did not disclose, which, if it's over $25,000, could uh, incur criminal penalties. They're now saying it was a gift, and it came from a Mike Ensign and Sharon Ensign, John Ensign's parents. It's clear he's trying to get in front of this. It may not be illegal if he paid the gift taxes, etc., right. but how does it look <clears throat> when right. your father paid off your mistress right. and your chief of staff? And the gifts were given, apparently, in $12,000 increments because that's the gift limit, so they were obviously aware of uh, the law there. Very interesting, big details, big money spread around there, too. Thank you very much, John. Wow. My pleasure.